thrust for you. You've got both hands on the control panel, okay? Nice gentle grip, the lighter you grip the better, okay? Yeah. So pitch is controlled fore and aft, and yes. turns, roll is controlled for the end. Yeah. But for takeoff, your feet are going to be on the rudders, and it's your feet that are going to keep us straight on the runway centre line. So if the aircraft goes to the right, left pedal will bring you back. If the aircraft goes to the left, the right pedal will bring you back. I'll be doing the looking in, checking the speeds. I'll give you a call when the speed is correct to V1 rotate. On that call of V1 rotate, progressively pull back. Nose will come off the ground. That's when you take your eyes from that windscreen into this PFD screen here. Yes. And that's you, that little black and white square. Yep. Two triangles at the top. If, they're if the apexes are touching, it tells us the wings are there. If they're split, it tells us we're in a turn one way or the other. Okay, okay. What we're looking for is the most important part of this system is that vertical magenta line is part of the flight director system. Yeah. That's joined by a horizontal line a little bit later on. And where the two lines meet and the cross is formed, that's called the flight director. Okay. So one's looking after your directional guidance, the vertical line. The horizontal line looks after your pitch information. So if we sit where the two are joined, yeah. it gives us everything we've asked for. And it will give us a perfect climb there. Okay? Simple as that. Okay. Right, motion coming on. And away we go. So, we'll kick the brakes off. I'll set the thrust. And we're away. Right, right, that's it. Keep it right. Cut right, from the right then. Yeah. And it'll come back on the tarmac, don't worry about that. That's it, you've got it under control. A bit of right there, that's perfect. V1, rotate. So jet, that's it, pull back. Eyes into your screen now. Take the gear up, now you're up. That's it, hold it as close to that cross as you can. That's it, now your cross has gone below you, so a good shove forward. Keep pushing forward until we get ourselves over that cross. Keep pushing forward now, keep pushing. Keep dropping it forward. Gets a horizontal line, reverse your actions, hold it there. That's that is so realistic. There we are. So I need to go slightly to the right. to the left, to the left, left. Yep. Right, okay. Yep. Push forward now, follow your line down, and that's it. The lines come back to the middle. So now it says drop to the right. So the vertical lines give you instruction. feet to go to level off. So at 1,000 feet that horizontal line is going to start sinking away and ask you to follow it. That's it. Now push forward now, get down to your horizontal line. Keep your wings level on, just drop your right wing. Turn coming now, it's asking for more bank. A little bit more bank to the right. 
more on instruments than looking out the window. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. But there again, your eyes are moving all the time. You never focus on one instrument, no. so you keep scanning all the time. Right. But in the real world, you'd have the auto the automatics would be engaged. Right. Okay. So so we need to bring your nose up a little bit more back to the right. Keep to right the right. Turn. Yep. Vertical lines to the right, so it's in one to more right turn. That's it when it comes to the middle, and that's the line you're trying to achieve. Okay. That's your heading line. Ease the nose forward now, back to your horizontal line. Just tighten it down. So push forward now, stop your climbing. Give it a gentle descent down. Salzburg's just down to your right hand side, the actual airfield sits in the valley, just to the west of the castle, which is down. rotated off the runway. Good grief. And that will take you all the way through to auto land. So if it's not tampered with, you just leave it, it will do the flight for you. So we'll get you down below this cloud level, keep the nose down just a little bit there, and I'll get you nice and visual. Keep that coming. So drop the nose just a little bit.
Chocolate left wing down there, that's it. Roll out, so we drop the left wing down there, and that line will come back to the middle. So it's asking you to fly left now, so fly left and full, so nice gentle grip. those two higher cloud levels, if you'd steer us right through the middle, and just bring your eyes in every couple of seconds to check where you are against the pink line, so if you're below it, just bring yourself up to it. road going down the valley ahead of us. Yes. Right, if you follow that road, that will put us in a good position. That's it. So use that as your directional guidance and then just use your horizontal line for guidance for altitude or for pitch. the automatics for you, I'll let you have a play with one of these, okay? Okay. Just take your hands off for a second. database where it's pre-programmed or more commonly through the MCP panel. So when you're in an air traffic zone, which we are now very close to the airfield, your instructions will be coming from air traffic and they'll look after your speed, your headings and your altitude for you. By giving you instructions of what speed they want, what heading they want, what altitude they want. And their job is to get you round the corner onto the ILS Airbus's, Boeing's, they're all 
walls and all like that equipment. As long as they're programmed right, they'll fly you all the way there and I'll land for you. I'll think we'll turn around. So now what we'll do, we'll start making a few turns now back towards the runway centre line. So on the heading knob, if you turn us right, that's a clockwise heading. You have to a heading of about 08. Zero 08. Oh, yeah. approaching the runway centre line now, which is, this is exactly how it would look in the real world. So the diamond's gone solid, the warlock's gone green, and it will now turn onto the painted runway centre line. Be it, we're still 10 miles out, but we are absolutely banging the centre of the runway. Now as we fly towards the runway, level at 4,000 feet, we're going to fly into the glide slope, and that's represented by that little diamond in the top right hand corner. Yep. Wait for that to become active, and there's a few more things to be done. So we'll start slowing down a little more now. So if we bring the flaps back to number five, that's it. so just drop it down again, so it's back and up at the same time, that's it. And now set a speed of 170. Okay, now the glide slope's become live. The diamond's active, yep. so now it's time to put the gear down. This lever here. Give it a pull out and down, and drops you under carriage. As soon as you've done that, bring your flaps to flat 15, and set a target speed of 150. By the time you look back down, your diamond's in the middle, your white glide slope has changed to green, so now you can see your runway coming into view, and it will, that will carry you all the way to the touchdown zone. So now we bring our flaps to 30, just drop it down again and back one up at the same time. That's it. Prediction landing speed of 122. We had five knots for safety, so 127 to set. And that's it. And that's it. If you leave the aeroplane now, it will just arrive on the tarmac. And the auto brakes are set, so it's bring itself to a stop. But not that easy today. So if you put your hands back on again, you're all going to be flying it. So there you are, that flight director is now in the approach mode. So the cross is looking after your arrival. Right. Okay, so we're a pilot coming out. So now we sit with our little black bar square over the cross. Now have a look at your runway and bring your eyes in and out. That cross is going to look after you. So just bring your nose up just a little bit, Alan, just onto there. That's it, you've got it a little bit more, just bring it up a little. That's it, hold it there. Just 
how easy it forward. So this will keep moving all the time. It's going to get you back onto a perfect glide state. So on tiptoes on the pedals. into a tree, yeah. right? So at least I didn't do that because they all said at the club, "Oh, you're pretty 